don't know what kind of an artist I am. So I guess we'll start there. I don't know. Okay. I had to shovel that food down because I got to talk to you about this. Something I've noticed recently, a trend in my life, if you will, is when I introduce myself as an artist, a lot of people say, that's so cool. What kind of art do you do? And for some reason, I cannot for the life of me appropriately answer that question. I think I'm a visual artist is probably the broadest way to describe it. But then if you break it down, am I a painter? Not explicitly. Am I a drawer? Probably not. Do I do digital drawings? Sometimes. Do I do analog drawings? Sometimes. There isn't really one linear description. Am I a multimedia artist? I guess. I don't really feel like I identify with that label, but I do use it sometimes. Intermedia artist. There's kind of so many things, but when I think about it and when I really break it down, I don't think I have to label myself within the category of artist. I think you can just be an artist. And so I feel like for a long time I was like, well, I'm a sculpture artist or I'm a, I don't know. These days, if people ask me, I pretty much express that I have no idea how to decide. And right now I'm doing a lot of small paintings. That's just what's happening. In the past, I've done large scale sculptures and those were awesome. Those were my favorite. I loved doing those, but I was in school and there was nowhere to put them. Once I graduated, they, they pretty much disappeared after that. And I stopped making sculptures of that size because also my experience with sculpture is that it's very hard. This is just my personal opinion, but it, I think it's very hard to display a sculpture portfolio without the bounds of a white box, like being a gallery space or something that at least passes as that. Now, could I make my cream walls kind of a gallery space and just display my work there? Probably, but would it have the same, I don't know what it is, the little, that, whatever that is, that makes a sculpture piece legitimate by putting it in the space of a gallery or at least a white box. I don't know if I agree with it. I don't know if I like it. That's kind of why I'm not making sculpture right now. That's part of the reason why. By the way, if you're new here, my name is Sophia Metropolis. I think I forgot to say that. I'm an artist. I live in New York City. I grew up in New York City. I lived in California for six years. And this is my channel. I make videos about art and my life and all sorts of stuff. I'm not doing Vlogmas. Happy Vlogmas though. If I was at a different point in my life, maybe I would, but nobody asked me to. So, <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. It's just way too much work for me right now. I'm not a full-time YouTuber, so I can't make that happen. I guess my point is, I don't think you have to define yourself as any type of artist specifically. I just don't think it's necessary. If you are particularly connected to one section of art, then absolutely, if that helps you with your identity as an artist, you wanna say, I am a ceramicist, I am a painter, I am a sculptor, whatever that is. If that helps you, that's awesome. If your work extends beyond one thing and it feels overwhelming to label it, you don't have to. You can just be an artist. You can just be someone who creates and who makes things. There really aren't any rules about how you're supposed to label yourself. And I think that goes for a lot of things in life, for sure. But I don't know, I think we kind of get caught up in this idea of what kind of an artist am I and what kind of art should I be making because I'm this kind of an artist. I guess the point is, don't worry about it. Like if it's a problem, it's not a problem. It's not really a very good way to put it. I think you can just be an artist. Like I don't think you have to be a certain type of artist. I think you can just be an artist in general and there doesn't have to be a subcategory or a subset. You can just be one. Just show up and be an artist, that's it. And also, do you wanna be an artist? Then call yourself one. You don't have to do it to call yourself it. Some things you do. Maybe sports, yes. Art, no. You wanna be an artist, you're an artist. Good for you, proud of you. This is just a thought that I've been thinking, that I've been feeling, that I wanted to share and get off my chest because I don't think I'm gonna try to define myself anymore. I think the most narrow I will go is a visual artist. I'm a visual artist, mostly just because I'm not a performing artist, but sometimes I do performance visual art. Anyway, I hope this video finds you well. If you are not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. I put out new videos on Wednesdays and Fridays as of right now, and it seems to be continuing. I also have a Patreon where you can support me if you're feeling generous and you wanna help me out as an artist and a creator. There's just a small squad in there. We just hang out and post stuff and have chats. And you can come be a part of that and be in the inner circle. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Sophia Metropolis, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.